This week, Congress did pass an $8 billion spending bill to battle COVID-19 coronavirus. And today, Colorado Senator Michael Bennett is seeing firsthand how students in Fort Collins are working towards a vaccination. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas has our story from Colorado State University. And Dylan, you found that to fight the virus, CSU has to grow the virus. Jim, both kind of go hand in hand. In order to have an answer for a vaccine, they actually need to grow more of it so they have cells to research. So CSU is doing just that. They're growing coronavirus here in Fort Collins, all with the ambitious goal of having a vaccine developed by the end of the year. While many in the public are scurrying around to avoid the coronavirus, we have uh, the COVID-19 agent on site. We're growing that. A team of scientists at Colorado State University are embracing the challenge of taking the deadly virus head on. We're applying those resources and those capabilities to addressing this emergent problem. Uh, not only for Colorado, but for the United States and for the rest of the world as well. Raymond Goodrich is the executive director of CSU's Infectious Disease Research Center, which hosted Senator Michael Bennett Friday. When it comes to this kind of research, CSU is the center of the universe. Bennett was told CSU believes they can have a vaccine ready for testing in as little as six months. It's very, very serious, and there are people that are dying from this. We need to take this very seriously. But we shouldn't overreact at the same time. CSU's team has fully shifted their lab's focus to COVID-19, just as the virus has shifted to Colorado. New ideas and new concepts that are developed in the minds of students, faculty, and staff here uh, into practical solutions that can ultimately reach the public uh, in forms that help prevent or the spread of diseases like this. These guys are on the cutting edge of so much scientific research and um, it's really exciting to know it's right here in Colorado. Researchers here at CSU say once a vaccine is developed, they will need to do testing on other animals that can contract COVID-19, like guinea pigs and mice. Once that's completed, they will then move on to testing in humans through the CDC and hope an ambitious goal will have a vaccine by a year and a half from now. Live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Thanks, Dylan. You can always find updates on the coronavirus outbreak at CBSDenver.com and CBSN Denver.